Okay, welcome to part one of how to set up a remote desktop connection on your home PC so you will be able to connect from your work PC uh, to your home. In Visio here, I created a graphic overview on the environment in which I'm going to be doing this tutorial on. Um, so let's take a look at this environment really quick. On this side, um, I have your home computer, and the idea here is to make your home computer able to accept incoming connections from your computer your computer from work. I'm going to set up a remote desktop connection on your home computer. Um, I'm also going to set up Windows Firewall uh, and make sure that it's allowing a remote desktop connection to come through. And another piece of software that sometimes you have to take care of is your antivirus software if it comes with a window if it comes with a, a, a firewall software built in. In this tutorial I have Norton Internet Security installed on this PC so I'm going to make sure that Norton is allowing a remote connection to come through as well. Um, the router may need some configuration. You may need to go inside your router and open port 3389 which is the default port used by remote desktop. Your DSL modem should have all port ports open already but sometimes you may need to go inside your uh, DSL cable modem slash router and open the ports there as well. Your office computer needs very little configuration and we're gonna cover that um, over here as well. So let's get started. We first need to tell Windows that we want to allow local users to connect remotely to this computer and we're going to accomplish this by going to my computer and clicking it with the right button going down to the properties option and that's going to bring up the system properties dialog box here let's go to the uh, remote option and under here we're going to have an option that is going to say allow users to connect remotely to this, to this computer and we want to say yes so let's put a check mark there if you don't have one and click on the apply and then click on OK now let's check the Windows firewall configurations go to start control panel look for the Windows firewall icon and double click on it that's gonna bring up the Windows firewall dialog box here do not flag don't allow exceptions go to the exceptions tab and click on remote desktop click OK and close the control panel now let's check the Norton Internet Security settings click on start all programs Norton Internet Security and Norton Internet Security in here go to the uh, settings click on personal firewall click on configure on the left hand side here under personal firewall you have a link called program control click on it and in here we're gonna look for Microsoft uh, remote desktop connection mm, here it is make sure that this is set to allow and click apply click OK and close this dialog box so another thing that I want to share with you is information on how to open the remote connection ports in your wireless uh, LAN router. Um, there's a website. Let's go to uh, Internet Explorer here. Search for port forward and portforward.com. Let's go in here. Um, they have this section here called guides. And let's go under port forward and click on port forwarding guides by router they pretty much have, have every single router here I'm gonna give you mine as an example I have a D-Link router let me find it over here in the list Okay, so that's my router here D DI524 click on it and then they have a lot of programs here on how to open ports for certain programs we're looking for remote desktop so click on there and there is a there's a guide here on how to open the ports for for remote desktop so search for your router um, search for remote desktop 
and then this is sufficient information for you to uh, be able to open the ports correctly in your router. You could do the same uh, with your DSL cable modem. They might have the router here as well. Okay. One more thing that we have to keep in mind is that you need to know the IP address for your computer at home. And one way to find out the IP address for your computer at home is going to uh, Google. And in here, you can type on the search bar as soon as it comes up. Okay. One thing you can do here is type what is my IP.com and this website right here will give you your IP address. Okay, just click on it. It's going to display very big and, and, and easy to see how to uh, uh, what your IP is at home. Okay, so once we know that, once we know the IP address at home, um, go to Start All Programs, then go to Accessories, Communications, and Remote Desktop Connection. In here, type that IP address that you have from your from your home PC. My home PC is 10.10.1.100. I'm going to click Connect, and uh, window pops open, asking me for my username and password. So type in your username and password, and click OK. That's going to bring up. I'm going to maximize here. So it looks, my computer now, my, my work computer looks just like my computer at home. I can do anything that I would do on my computer at home on this computer. Okay, let me uh, reduce the size. And as you can see here, on the left, here I have my work computer, and here's my computer at home. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short tutorial. And, uh, and check out my other tutorials. Thank you very much for your time.